Welcome, Real Talk family. So, from the title of this video, you already know what this video is going to be about. But before we get started, I would first like to say if you are returning subscribers, hello. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. And to those that are new to my channel and you like my content, make sure you subscribe. Click that notification bell so you never miss a video that I upload. Hi you guys, it has been a minute since I have uploaded a video and I would like to say sorry you guys for the wait, but you know as I told you guys, I was in school, I am finally finished, I passed my state board, so I am officially licensed, so I will be uploading that video up here with you guys as well. But today I wanted to do a video in relation to social studies on the GED test. I have been getting a lot of good feedback. People have been commenting and thanking me for the content that I am giving you guys. And I want to thank you guys for being a part of the channel. Or even if you aren't and you ran across my video and it helps you with something, thank you so much for your support. I want to just go ahead and get right on into this. I don't want to make this an extremely long video. So let's just go ahead and get right on into it. Today, I want to talk about editorial cartoons. And I'm working out of this book. A lot of guys, a lot of people always ask me, like, where are you getting this information from? So I got this book when I was taking GED classes. My classes gave us some books in relation to all the subjects. And so this one is the social studies. A lot of people ask me, how can I get this book and stuff? The thing about it is I... Am not in the same state with you, so I don't know. You will have to enroll probably in a GED class and probably um, be able to get more information about that. You can always go to your local library. Um, I know with COVID, I don't really know how people are doing things. I know where I'm at, they still offer free GED classes. So you guys just look in your communities and find out what all they have because I'm pretty sure they have something that can help but I will insert pictures um inside this video so that you guys can actually see it and you can understand what I'm going to be reading to you guys so we're going to talk about this cartoon right here um some questions on the test will include cartoons where they want you to interpret what they're trying to get you to see so I want y'all to take a good look at that cartoon before I read it Okay, so Ben Franklin is credited for publishing one of the first editorial cartoons in the American colonies. Like all editorial cartoons, it made a point about an issue. It urged the colonies to unite against the British. The editorial cartoon below came much later. It was first published in 1880. Its title is Welcome to All. Study the picture and the text. So Ben Franklin obviously is credited with publishing one of the first cartoons. So that's basically what that was saying. So basically, when you look at this cartoon, you see no oppressive Texas, no expensive kings, no compulsory military service, no knouts or dugouts. So you have to end this as welcome, welcome to all. So whenever you're dealing with these cartoons, they want you to figure out what you're looking at, basically. So like, you have to figure out what are they trying to get me to see. And you don't need to spend a lot of time, you guys. But I'm just, I just want you guys to understand what they're trying to get us to see. Okay, so let's get down to the next portion. It says an editorial cartoonist makes a point through pictures as well as words. He or she may also use humor. To understand an editorial cartoon, follow these steps. Read the title, caption if any, and any other text. Look at each character or figure, identify what, what each represents. Identify the issue the cartoon is about. Determine the point the cartoon makes about the issue. Okay, so basically, it's giving you the steps um, when interpreting a cartoon. Like I said, you have to look at the title, and that's why I read everything out to you guys. To show you guys that they're trying to get us to see something. What that something is, we have to figure that out. And we have to really pay attention to really what they're trying to get us to see. 
Okay, so the first question says, what is the title of the cartoon? And the title is Welcome to All. You see it right there. Second question, what does the character in the doorway of the U.S. Ark or Refuge represent? Second part of that question is, what do the people waiting in line represent? So if you look at him really good, look at him really good. So you can see. And then you look at the people. What do the people look like? Okay. So the answer to that is the United States. And that's Uncle Sam. So we know that. So that's what America represents is the United States. Uncle Sam. That's basically what that is. And what they're insinuating is that it's a warm welcome. It says welcome to all. So it's like come on everybody. Look open arms. So that's basically was that that is insinuating and then it says what do the people wait, waiting in line represent and the people in line represent the immigrants and you know when they said no oppressive taxes no um what they say no expensive kings so we know that those kings is their references in other countries other places and so that would make them immigrants when they come to another country which is america which is the united states so the third question says, what issue is the cartoon about? And that issue is immigration. And we know that because these immigrants are traveling, obviously, and they're, they're on foot. They're trying to get somewhere else. So they definitely represent immigrants. The fourth question says, what does the cartoon make about the issue? The United States immigrants. So that is what the point does. That's the point of this whole cartoon. Is that the United States immigrants, the immigrants are able to come to the United States. So that's basically for that. Okay, you guys. So we have another cartoon. Look at the cartoon. Look at it really, really good. Try to not look at the answers, but yeah, look at the cartoon. Okay. So what do y'all think? Let's read the title. It says, since, okay, let's read it. What it says up here so far. It says, since 9-11... All air travelers are searching are searched by security guards. Also says next Christmas, let's just stay home. So that's that title right there. Okay, so let's read the first questions. What do the people in the cartoon represent? The people in the cartoon represent travelers. What are they saying? They said stay home next Christmas. What they saying don't travel. That's basically what they're saying. And the third question says, what is the cartoonist point? Invasion of privacy. And the read they was traveling just to go, obviously, somewhere for Christmas. That's what I'm getting from this. And then when you look at the gentleman, you can tell that he doesn't hardly have any clothes on. So I'm assuming that's why they said, next Christmas, just stay home. And you can tell by just looking at the cartoon. A lot of these cartoons, you guys, are not hard. They're just trying to get you to see something. And what that something is, that's what you have to see. Like, you have to see that. Okay, so we got another cartoon down here, you guys. I hope you guys can see that. Pay attention. Look at it. Really good. Okay, so let's read what some of the stuff says. It says Power Grid right here. It's a guy jumping off of something, obviously. He's going somewhere. It didn't say power grid down there. Okay, so from time to time, electricity blackouts happen in the United States and other countries. What point does the cartoon make about blackouts? Note, a power grid carries electricity from a power plant to users. So, the answer to that is too much demand and not enough power. Unlimited resource. So, let's think about that. Um, I don't know if many of you know or not, but I am located in Texas. And um, we had a ice, a winter storm. And it was really bad. Like, everything was pretty much out of commission. No water. Um, no electricity. And so Texas is on its own grid. 
So basically, I can see where this comes from. Too much demand and not enough power. So they won't demand. They want it, want it, want it. But it's not enough power to go out. So I can see where, what they're trying to say in this particular cartoon. So like really look at it. Look at how he's jumping over the thing. Power grid is not, the power grid is small compared to him. Compared to where he's coming from. So I can see where that comes from. You guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was useful to you guys. I wanted to come on here and do this because um, I've seen a couple questions like this on the GED test. And I believe that they will help. And they're not that hard, you guys. You just really have to interpret what they're saying what they're trying to show you and stuff like that and once you do that it's easy it's an easy feel if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please leave them down in the comment section down below if you have any suggestions for any other videos please let me know leave those down in the comment section as well i will insert these pictures of these cartoons so you guys can see it for what it is and you can be able to study it go over it or anything of that nature, you guys. I thank you guys so much for your support. It means absolutely a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. With going to school and stuff like that. And still bringing you guys content. I appreciate you guys' feedback all the time. It is always amazing to see that you guys are being helped. And I am doing my job in assisting you guys. Um, like I said, I got this book from a GD class. So I don't know if you will be able to find it. But you definitely should check out your local area and find out about GED classes, you guys. Um, I cannot wait. I have my video coming out that I will be uploading on this channel to show you guys my journey for what I went to school for and how it was for me and the trials and tribulations that I had to go through. So I cannot wait to share that journey with you guys. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the channel. And if you made it this far and you're not a part of this channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you never miss a video that I upload. Alright you guys, see you next time. Later.